conversation here. Let's just start baseline. Uh, tell our audience where you're at on Caleb Williams, how you feel about him, uh, how excited you are about him, whatever doubts you might have. Just just give us kind of your baseline so Caleb is, Williams take. Yeah, so Caleb, I watched Caleb Williams in his first game ever when I didn't know who really who Caleb Williams was when he came in in relief in the Red River shootout and led a brilliant comeback as a true freshman with his arms and his legs. And I said, oh, well, that that already tells me that unless something drastic <sighs> happens to him, this is an NFL player. He then followed that up by his first year at USC, having, in my opinion, one of the best collegiate seasons uh, that, from a prospect perspective, where it's like, oh, this is translatable to the NFL I'd ever seen. And from that... Before we keep going on this... You Chicago Bears are trash. Trash. And you always will be trash. We won a Super Bowl in 1985. That was 1985. What about now? Huh? What about now? Trash. Bears? What about now, Trash Bears? What about now? You're trash. Trash Bears. You were trash last year. You were trash the year before that. And you were trash the year way before that. Garbage can. Garbage can. That's what you are. Garbage can franchise. And you know I'm right when I say it. The chicken nugget king is always right. And he's always going to teach you a lesson. He's always going to show you the right things. You trash bear fans. I want you trash bear fans to understand this and know this. The real king of the jungle, the real kings of the north, is going back to back next season on a North Division title. <laughs> and you know who they are, baby. It's the Detroit Lions. Oh, 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 y'all don't want me to start cooking, baby. You don't want the Chicken Nugget King to start cooking. Oh, you don't want him to start cooking. You don't want him to start cooking on the trash Chicago Bears. You don't want me to start cooking on a trash franchise like the Chicago Bears. You don't want it. You don't want it. You don't. You don't want it. Because when I start cooking, it's going to be good. It's going to be something so good, 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 good. It's going to make you feel like you want to slap your mama. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 boy. <laughs> oh, I just couldn't wait to react to Nick Wright saying, right now, he'd be one of the 10 best QBs in the NFL. <laughs> Caleb Williams? Caleb Williams! Really, Nick Wright? Caleb Williams! Being one of the top 10 best QBs in the NFL? Really? He hasn't had a single snap in the NFL yet, and you're saying right now he'd be one of the top 10 best QBs in the NFL. That is a bold-faced lie, Nick Wright. Or shall I say, Squidward Tentacles. Your takes on sports is so wrong. So wrong. So, so wrong, man. It's, it's so wrong. It is so wrong that you couldn't even be right. How can you have a last name like Wright and you always give wrong takes on sports? And you're always wrong when you speak on these top tier players in each and every single league. Your name is Nick Wrong. 
Okay, it's not Nick Wright, it's Nick Wrong. The Chicken Nugget King has gave you a new name, Nick Wrong, buddy. And for the fact that you're going on a podcast that is called the Chicago Bears Podcast is a train wreck waiting to happen. Oh, 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 baby. I can't wait till the NFL season comes. I can't wait till Caleb Williams put on that trash-ass Bears uniform and get sacked multiple times. I can't wait to see Caleb Williams look like a damn bust on that field. I can't wait. I can't wait. Don't even put him in the same sentence as Andrew Luck. Don't even put him in the same sentence as Patrick Mahomes. Don't even put him in the same sentence as Trevor Lawrence. And you're going to say he's going to the playoffs next year? With what offensive line? And you're going to bring up DeAndre Swift. I know you're going to bring up DeAndre Swift, but DeAndre Swift had his best year with the Philadelphia Eagles. He was injury prone when we, when he was here in his tenure here in Detroit. Didn't pan out. He was okay, but he didn't pan out the way we wanted him to pan out. But with what offensive line is he going to have a successful season? Like 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 what what what, what? he's not going to have a successful season under the Chicago Bears offensive line. He's not just like this trash ass quarterback who paints his nails. Hell, for crying out loud, he probably even reads Ebony Magazine when he's bored. So you're going to sit here and tell me that he is the best prospect coming out, that he is the Gen Z greatest quarterback. That will ever hit in the NFL. That is a bold faced lie, just like you're telling a bold faced lie on this podcast. It's it's just too bold for me. It's too bold. It's too bold for me. Too bold. As a Detroit Lions fan, it makes me want to laugh at your franchise. It makes me want to laugh at your fan base who wants to sit here and talk about, oh, well, your Lions were 0 and 16. My Lions won playoff games. My Lions didn't miss field goal kicks. My Lions didn't have a head coach that had that Matt Nagy look all on camera. My head coach knows how to win games. Your head coach doesn't. Your head coach has a name that could be attached to the coronavirus. Matt Eberflus. And you think that's going to work out for you? You think that's going to work out for you? And by the way, shout out to Reggie Bush. Heisman Trophy winner. Definitely a hell of a great player. Number 21 for the Detroit Lions. And yeah. And yeah. In 2014, he ruled when he was in this jersey. Bet your ass he did. But to think that you Chicago Bears have a chance to win the division and have a so-called chance to go to the playoffs? It's unreal and it's funny. We're taking over the North and never giving it back. You know, while we're on this, <laughs> while we're on this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at your general manager's record. Ryan Poles. Let's let's look at his record, shall we? Record is GM. Oh, oh, oh! It's so it's so so funny. It is so so funny. It's so funny, so so funny when you look at this record. Oh, within two years. He has 10 wins and 24 losses as your GM.
We're going to take the North and we're never giving it back. You were never going to take the North. Never. Because it was ours to begin with. You were lucky when you had Khalil Mack. You were lucky. I'll give you that. You were lucky when you had Khalil Mack. But you want to know something? You, you want to know something? You stink! You know, let's 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 continue this. Let's continue. Let, let's just continue Nick wrong and his take. Let's just let's just continue this, shall we? Moving forward, I do the Mahomes Mountain thing which is, you know, a kind of contemporaneous ranking of NFL quarterbacks every week during the football season on First Things First, and I started putting Caleb Williams on there. Oh, before you even go further, Michael Penix Jr. will have a better career than Caleb Williams. I'm dead-ass serious when I say that. And people got mad at me, and I was like, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying eventually. I'm saying right now he'd be one of the 10 best quarterbacks in the NFL. And I think that his struggles this year were wildly overrated. I think that a good way to tell how good a player is is are all of the is the Matt is the majority of their praise or the majority of their criticism have nothing to do with actual football. So like so people who love JJ McCarthy, you know what they talk about? How firm of a handshake he has. JJ McCarthy won college playoff games. And has a national championship. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. J.J. McCarthy could possibly be a future Hall of Famer in the NFL. He'll have a better career than Caleb Williams. Drake! May will have a better career than Caleb Williams in the NFL. Caleb Williams is going to have nightmares hearing those Jared Goff chants each and every Sunday. Even in the offseason, he's going to have nightmares of Jared Goff chants. Even when he comes to Ford Field, he's going to hate those chants. He's going to hate those chants so vividly, and, 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 and he's going to hate it even more. He's going to hate it even more vividly, and even mentally, physically, he's going to hate it. He's going to hate it. But you know what? Lions fans are going to love it. We're going to love it. We're going to love it when Caleb Williams is on the not-so-top-10 countdown on SportsCenter. We're going to love that. Shout out to Scott Van Pelt. I love that guy. I, I definitely love that guy. I love ESPN and I love that guy. Shout out to Stephen A. Smith. I love that guy too. But the Chicago Bears? I don't love them. I, I don't love them. I hate them with a passion. Next to the hate that I have to the Green Bay Packers. And I'm not the only one that hates the Chicago Bears. I'm not the only one that can't stand the Bears. We all can't stand the Bears. We hate them. We hate them so, so, so much. The most successful thing in Chicago Bears recent history... Well, not Chicago Bears, but in Chicago sports period, the most successful thing recently was the Chicago Cubs. And the Chicago Cubs, they won a World Series. They won a championship way before the Bears, way before the Chicago White, Hot, White Sox, uh, you know, Blackhawks. I can say about the Blackhawks, Blackhawks, they won Stanley Cups. I'll, 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 give, you, I'll give you that one. But the goddamn Cubs have won world championships way more than recently than the Bears, than the White Sox, than the Blackhawks, and even your Chicago Bulls. 
In recent Chicago sports history, the Chicago Cubs are second to none. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. Chicken Nugget King 5A6 here in the mix with a brand new video. Go Lions. We're gonna we're, we're gonna smoke you guys' boots this season. Get ready for a festival. Get ready for a fest. Get ready for the Lions destroying the Bears again and again. Get ready for it. Get, get ready for it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And uh Hey, I'm at 170 subscribers. Go Lions. One pride. All grit. Enough said. I, I heard enough. I heard enough today.